Grief counselors on hand once again at a local high school to help students deal with the death of a classmate. Now, amid the search for the gunman who shot and killed a student near the Lamar High School campus, students are just trying to deal with that loss. Channel 2's Taisha Walker live with what she's learned so far today. Taisha? Police uh, are on scene throughout the, the morning here around Lamar High School, Sion. It's a very noticeable presence. We are a block away from the school. We are on Bamel, and we've noticed several police cruisers back and forth on the street. The reason being is that shooting happened right across from where I'm standing. In fact, if you look closely, you can see where one of the bullets pierced that electrical box. Police are making a strong statement about safety on the campus of Lamar High School. For a second week in a row, students returned to school with grief counselors. Just days ago, two students were killed in a murder-suicide. I don't think any of us are coping with it very well. I don't think we're over it yet. And then this happens and it just adds on to it. On Tuesday, students say they learned of the death of a senior who was popular among his schoolmates. When I was in seventh period, Everybody said that they knew they knew like it was about to happen because they said he got into an argument, I think. And then he like, I, I don't know why he what he was doing or like why they were back there. So I guess like wrong place, wrong time. The 18 year old was walking with a freshman blocks away from the school Tuesday afternoon when police say a masked man got out of a car and shot the male teen execution style. The female student was grazed. Police later found the stolen getaway car abandoned in the third ward. The people inside haven't been found. Although police say the shooting was isolated, students say they no longer feel safe. I don't want to be back. Like, it's not safe at all. I know, it's going to take time for our feeling of safety to come back. The principal, she's, like, grieving with everybody nicely. She's, like, going to classrooms, talking to the students, making sure they're okay. But, like, overall, like, I don't think, like, everybody's, like, prepared for everything. So I think we, like, actually need a break, like, take a day off. And what you are looking at live right now are flowers being left from students at the school for that teen. A tough day getting even tougher. We spoke with several students who tell me that after they leave school, they plan to go home and change to attend the funerals of those two students, their friends, they lost last week to gun violence. Reporting live in Upper Kirby, Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News.